Hey guys, this is Omer from Dallas. Yo, what up? It's Say My Name, and this is Golf Cart Confessions. What is your idea of perfect happiness? Perfect happiness, um, being with good friends, loved ones, being able to travel the world, eating good food, and lots of drinks. <laughs> you just checked a lot of boxes. Perfect happiness comes from passion and something that you're truly passionate about. For me, that's music. That's something that's endless and that brings me joy and happiness no matter what. What is the biggest gamble you've ever made and did you win or lose? The biggest and the coolest gamble I made was when I got the opportunity to remix uh, DJ Snake's propaganda track. For long story short, I was in Vegas with a bunch of friends. We were pretty lit. And like Snake invites me to a show and he, like after the show he's like, yo, like you want to remix this song? And I'm like, yeah, of course. He's like, well you have to have it like done within the next like 14 hours. In this room, like I'm buying the ticket back home and he's like, if you if you kill it, we'll use it. If not, like I made that remix in like 10 hours. I flew back to LA like within three hours and I was in the studio. And that was like 3 a.m. in the morning after it set. That was the biggest gamble. Like I was like, all right, I'm gonna buy my ticket. I'm gonna go back home and I'm gonna get this remix to you by evening. Biggest gamble ever made to give up my career in medicine to focus on music. I was gonna plan on being a cardiologist. Okay. Yeah. Now you're just tugging on people's heartstrings. <laughs> sorry, I'm really sorry. That was lame, but I had to say it. The nicest and like coolest thing a fan has done to me, I saw a beta in Denver at a meet and greet. The fans, like, they messaged me and they're like, yo, like, we're gonna pick up, we're gonna grab tacos for dinner. Do you want, like, we'll bring you some? Like, I was like, oh, sure. And they brought me a bunch of tacos to the meet and greet. It's like, yo, let's grab some for Say My Name. Maybe he'll want some, you know? One time, this was several years ago, I uh, met some people that were visiting Dallas from Australia. The guy said that to one of my songs that I'd released years ago called Bloodfire, um, that, that he proposed to his girl with that oh. song playing. So oh. I thought that was like really the, one of the coolest things I've heard. Yeah. Yeah. I can't live a day without making music. I don't know, something I haven't thought a lot about. Right. Donald Trump is an idiot.